Republican Congressman from Florida, Michael Waltz. Uh, Congressman, thank you. I, I don't know if you heard our conversation, um, and I know you've addressed some of these issues already in Florida and kind of put them to bed, uh, but what are your thoughts here? Well, I think this is a, this is a big win for voter integrity. Uh, it's a win for restoring confidence in our elections. And it's yet another rollback of the whole myriad of changes uh, that were put in place under the guise of COVID uh, that mm -hmm. seemed to, to benefit, benefit one side uh, versus the other. For example, drop boxes unsupervised were used heavily in uh, and around Philadelphia, but not out in the more rural suburbs in, uh, in Pennsylvania. So this is yet another step forward. But, uh, you know, as your reporter just mentioned, we still have a long way to go because people can still harvest uh, by mail. And then finally, I would say, look, I hear from uh, certainly my constituents and conservatives and others concerned about voter integrity all the time and asking, what is the Congress doing about it? And I can tell you for certain under Nancy Pelosi, you don't want Congress doing anything about it. And constitutionally, uh, the state legislatures mm -hmm. are charged setting the terms for elections. Uh, and we are seeing forward movement in Texas, in Georgia, now here uh, through the courts in Wisconsin, uh, in, in other states. Uh, and I think we absolutely have to restore confidence uh, in our election. Yeah, because yeah that's what it's all about. You just have to have faith that the, the people who vote, their vote is counted. And that's just everybody has to have faith in that so that you can believe in the results. OK, I wanted to get your reaction to this story. Effective today, 40,000 National Guard and 22,000 reserve soldiers who refuse to get the COVID vaccine are no longer allowed to participate in their military duties and lost their pay and their benefits. Now, this comes at a time military struggling to reach recruitment goals. Uh, your former Green Beret, as I recall, what, is, uh, what are your thoughts on this? Yeah, and I'm also still serving uh, in, in the National Guard. Look, this is, uh, this is an absolute blow to the military's readiness. We are heavily dependent on the National Guard and reserves. Just in the last few years, hurricanes, wildfires, national social unrest, of course, COVID, vaccine deployment, and they have to train and be ready for their overseas deployments while still holding uh, a civilian job. And you'll hear proponents of this say, well, this is all about law and order and good order and discipline, and you can't have soldiers picking and choosing what shots you have to take. But we all, they, they, we all know that there's a real gray area here. This vaccine was developed under emergency use uh, there is still lacking long-term research. And the big difference now is that uh, it, since it doesn't stop the spread, even though we were promised that by Fauci and others, it's an individual health decision. And therefore, you're not infecting or one way or another your unit and your fellow soldiers to your left and your right. Uh, at the end of the day, the, the military is way overreaching. And this is in the midst of China's biggest built military buildup yeah. uh, in I modern military modern history. How ironic, given that's where this virus came from. Now, now I have uh, military uh, in the family and I have friends in the Pentagon. And as you know, uh, a, a majority of them will say you're in the army. It's not a democracy. If the army says you have to get the shot, you have to get the shot. Yeah. And look, that's absolutely right. But they also have to make uh, decisions and weigh risks that make sense. And if mm -hmm. you're looking at 20 percent of your entire National Guard, when you can't recruit to fill certain numbers, then you have to weigh that versus what is the vaccine doing to maintain yeah. readiness. Fair and I'm enough. not seeing this calculation. All I'm seeing is this all or nothing ideological, heavy handed approach uh, be, because there's th this is politics at play yeah. here. And so this is, I'm on the Armed Services Committee. We're going to fight this and get to the bottom of it, make them explain this decision. All right. Good enough. Glad to have the conversation, Congressman Michael Waltz. Thank All you, right. sir.